everyone, for this week's Lifestyle Love video, I'm sharing with you my five habits for success. When I honor these rituals, routines, and habits, I find that my week ends up on a high. I'm ready to embrace the weekend guilt-free. But when I don't do these things, the wheels fall off and I collapse in a heap. So I wanted to share with you what these habits are and how you can look at applying these habits in your own life for your own success. Habit number one is to get out of bed early, as early as possible. When I do this, I get so much stuff done before the day has even begun. There are no distractions for people texting me, messaging me, emailing me, no notifications. It's an incredibly sacred time. You can use this time to meditate, catch up on a hobby, learn a new language, do some exercise, whatever your heart desires. As Rocco likes to say, I get to spend this time filling up my own bucket. I catch the day before the day catches me and I get so much more stuff done, which means I end the day on a really positive note. Now, if you want to wake up early, I don't recommend throwing yourself into the deep end unless you really want to, then of course, by all means, do that. But just set your alarm for 15 minutes earlier and make it earlier and earlier as the weeks go by until you get to that point where you absolutely love your new routine, your new habit, and you would never let anyone take away that sacred special time in the morning because it's your time to do what you want. Habit number two is to have an exercise routine. I try and get to the gym at least three times per week. Now I don't overcommit myself or overwhelm myself by trying to tell myself I'm gonna exercise six or seven times per week. Three days is really achievable. And because it's achievable, it's really doable. I check my calendar on Sunday night and lock in my exercise time. So I book those classes to make sure I actually turn up. And the moment I've done that exercise, I've moved those muscles, I've sweated, that is when my energy levels are the best. And then because of that, that is when the best inspiration and ideas come to me. So if you want to do this for yourself, every Sunday night, grab your diary, grab your deadlines and prioritize some exercise time for yourself. Whether it be going for a walk, heading to the gym, or maybe even going for a swim, do some exercise for yourself, but prioritize it by locking it into your diary, making it part of your routine. Habit number three is fasting. I've been using intermittent fasting for almost four years now. It gives me so much energy, it gives me so much focus and concentration, which lasts for a really long period of time. Plus, I also save so much time because I'm not eating breakfast and having to clean up after myself. It is something that I have really valued and has given me so many more benefits in my life. Now, if you want to have a go at trying intermittent fasting for yourself, I recommend you have a really early dinner and go to bed early. You want to try and make the most of that fasting time whilst you're sleeping. It makes it so much easier. Then try and push breakfast as late as possible. So instead of having breakfast at 7, have it at 7.30 and then push it out later and later. Before you know it, you'll be fasting for 18 hours and you will actually feel amazing, I promise. Habit number four is I reread my goals, I check my sugar budget app, and I also check my banking transactions, both morning and night. I do this in the comfort of my own bed early in the morning. Now, by rereading my goals, I remind myself as to what I'm working towards. It also gives me a sense of purpose and direction, so I jump out of bed excited about the day ahead. I also check my sugar budget app. I go through my budget, my expenses, what's coming in, so I'm making sure that I'm always managing my cash flow correctly and I'm on top of my expenses. And there are no rude, nasty financial bills coming my way. I'm completely in control. I then check my banking transactions. I always like to make sure I'm sticking to my budget, so I check and see where I'm spending money and how much I'm spending. This also gives me the perfect opportunity to see where my bank accounts are at. Have I got the right amount of money in my every day savings account to get through the rest of my pay cycle? Have I put the right amount of money into my lifestyle account, which is my holiday savings fund? And am I feeling excited about seeing that? And also, am I putting the right amount of money into my financial goal account, which is buying more shares? This gives me a fantastic sense of being in control and excited about becoming financially free and independent. It's incredibly motivating. And of course, make sure you set those defined goals, you review them on a regular basis, and you get excited about setting new ones once the old ones have been achieved. Now, if you want to do this ritual for yourself, I recommend that you download your internet banking app. You also do this ritual in a really comfortable, warm place, like the comfort of your own bed. Also, make sure that you're keeping a note of how you're spending your money and that you have a budget. Of course, I highly recommend the Sugar Budget app, which I created and designed just for you. 
and then make sure you check your banking transactions so that you know you're sticking to your budget because remember you want to make sure that you're in control of your expenses and the less expenses you have the more money you're gonna have and then the fifth and final habit and that is to be tidy and organized if I walk into my home and there's just stuff everywhere it's really cluttered and disorganized and dirty and messy I fall apart it's a massive trigger for me so I actually take a conscious effort to try and keep my home as tidy and organized as possible now one trick that I have found really helps and works for me is I follow people on social media who promote their organized clean tidy homes I find it really inspiring and often when I see a post of a beautifully organized drawer or closet or cupboard it inspires me to go away and try and create that same look myself Another great thing that I do is I just try and target one space. So I'll focus on tidying one drawer or one cupboard or one corner of the room, which is a really great way of you incorporating this habit into your own life. Just remember, take it easy, but once you've cleaned and tidied and organized a space in your house, take the moment to stop, take a step back, look at it and admire it and feel really good. This will inspire you to keep going and work on other areas within your home. And it's something I've recently done myself. So now you've heard it guys, those are my five non-negotiable habits that I incorporate week after week and they're sacred to me, they're a ritual and I honour them all the time. It's what helps me be me. And hopefully these habits may help you as well. And I will see you next week for Money Monday. Ciao for now.